Hey everybody, I'm here at a beautiful hostel called El Patio. Uh, this is a place where my family, people from my family stay when they visit Lima. And as you can see, it's gorgeous. But this video is not about the hostel. This video is about eating ceviche. It's lunchtime. Let's go. Alright dudes, I'm at Pez Mancora in Miraflores, Lima, Peru. Pez Mancora. Okay, so we're going to do some ceviche and I'm going to show you guys what tiger's milk is all about. Maybe my favorite thing about eating in Peru is tiger's milk, leche de tigre. And you can actually order little shot glasses in some places. Here you couldn't, you couldn't do that, but we're going to try it out. So I started with a little fish broth. That's actually the picture you see in the thumbnail, some fish broth. Now we've got the actual ceviche and the actual tiger's milk. I asked for it nice and spicy. We'll see, but there's the pepper. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the tiger's milk. No, not the fish. The broth. The broth that the fish sits in. First off, for those of you who don't know what ceviche is, it's cooked fish in a fashion. It's not cooked with heat, it's cooked with acid. So you soak the fish in lime juice, or any acid technically, but in lime juice, and uh, that cooks it. And boom, there you go. I mean, it is so refreshing and so delicious. And just to get it on the record, Mexicans don't make ceviche anywhere near as good as Peruvians. Peruvians know where it's at. Some of it is the blessing of the fish that they have. They use corina sometimes and there's some really great stuff. But the big thing is that here, what ceviche mixto is, is the normal ceviche in Mexico. Mexicans love shrimp in their ceviche, and that's not where it's at, boys and girls. I'm sorry. I love shrimp. I even like shrimp ceviche. But that's not where it's at. Where, it, at, where it's at is big chunks of white fish. Okay. So I've got my official sport here. We're going to go for this thing. I just try the ceviche first. And we'll see how spicy it is too. If you've never tried... Oh, it does have a nice little kick. Perfectly calibrated. If you've never tried a ceviche, and please don't put tomato anything in it. Please, that's, that's the other Mexican habit. No tomato anything in ceviche. Anywho, sorry. Um, you need to. I mean, it's hard to imagine a piece of animal flesh being so refreshing, and it really is so refreshing. Mm. I mean, it wakes up your whole body. And to have the acid and the spicy heat together, man, what an experience. One thing that I don't really necessarily dig is the chocolate that they put. But this is corn, it's not hominy. It's regular corn, like they come off the ear like this. Sort of flavorless, which is weird because the ceviche is always so punchy. Some places we'll put whole bowls of these onions and just pile on as much as you want. Mm, good stuff. So here's that little bowl of leche de tigre. Uh, those of you who know anything about Peruvian food will know that the potato figures largely in Peruvian food. So here is a potato that's been absolutely soaked in this fish lime juice. And it's actually sort of hard to describe because it's kind of yammy, kind of sweet potato-y. It feels more like a yam. But I'm no tuber expert. And I know for a fact there are hundreds of varieties of potatoes in this country. While I eat, you guys can see 
what I'm seeing. Not much. Just a street with a couple of hotels. Okay, so we've arrived at the moment this video was driving at. I'm not quite done with my ceviche. Oh yeah. But, the only thing left in the bowl of leche de tigre is the actual tiger's milk. Like I said, you can just do shots of this stuff. Just picture a bunch of fish and onions and chili peppers stewing in lime juice. Look how it got white. Just stewing and stewing. When I say stewing, I mean cold stewing. Just sitting there. This lime juice goes acquiring all the virtues of all of those things. Why would you throw that away? You wouldn't. So, this is what the video has been driving toward. Drinking this bad boy. Taking a deep quaff for you boys. Cheers. It's a lot of sour at one time. Mm. But virtuous. Wow. It tastes delicious and like it does you so much good. How often do you encounter that in life? Here goes the last bite of ceviche I'll be having in Peru on this trip. Ceviche is literally the thing I most think about, literally. I just use the word literally in such an ugly fashion. Ceviche is the thing I most think about when I know I'll be headed to Peru. This is it, it's the last bite. So soft, so lively. Mm. I hope it's animated you guys. Just search for a good ceviche. Maybe even make some at home. Mm. Yeah. It makes me so happy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace of Christ be upon you. You know what? I'm going to scrape just a little more off the bottom here. <laughs>